Hello everybody, it's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. So I got out of the hospital Sunday night and today is Tuesday and it's the first day that I'm actually by myself with Aaliyah and the baby. So toddler and baby Aaliyah came back from her grandma's house today. So it's the first day that I actually have her with me by myself and the baby as well. I just wanted to show you guys how everything goes so we all um, experience what I'm like going through i don't think it's gonna be hard or anything because Aliyah understands she's a little bigger now i don't think she understands that she's a big sister yet like it's she's still processing it because she doesn't want to get close to the baby yet i think that's normal but um yeah hopefully uh we can get her to talk to her maybe hold her i don't know we'll see uh but yeah so far i have to clean the basement as you all know i had a c-section so it's gonna be pretty hard um i'm not gonna go up the stairs a lot but i do have to go boil some bottles i won't be going upstairs as much i just have to pretty much stay down here uh, not do much so yeah let's hope this doesn't turn out to be boring hi. <laughs> she's been wanting to say hi to you guys so there you go say hi are you a big sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What's your sister's name? Your sister Suhaili? Mm -hmm. Where's your sister? I'm um, the class. Where's your sister? Mm -hmm. See, she doesn't take binkies, but now that her sister has a binky, she feels like she needs a binky. Um, and then she's just watching Curious George, and I'm trying to make the bed. But with this young ladies in the bed, I'm going to have to move them so I can make it. Up. She's crying, so I think I'm gonna feed her. Oh no, she's crying. Is your sister crying? Yeah, I know. I've got baby. I know it's your baby sister. You hungry, honey? I don't know if I'm the only one, but so Haley does this thing where she is hungry and then she latches onto my boob and falls asleep five minutes after she's eating. So I have to constantly wake her up so she can finish eating. Um, but that's what she did right now. She just like latched on for like five minutes and then went back to sleep. And maybe I would just leave her for now and finish something that I have to do before I actually settle down and uh, sit down with them and have Aaliyah spend some time with her because she is asking now that she sees me like holding the baby and keep in mind that Aaliyah hasn't really been around the baby since the day that I actually gave birth to her and she came to the hospital to see me for like 30 minutes so that's as long as she's seen the baby and this time like she's been here for maybe an hour and a half and I think it's starting to hit her that you know oh that's my sister like she's gonna be here for a really long time are you mad why are you mad are you upset that you can't feed your sister yeah you want to carry your sister Okay, you can carry her in a little bit, okay? <sighs> Silly girl. <laughs> what are you watching? I'm watching. Is that George? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so see, she did that thing where she goes to sleep, and then five minutes later, she's going to be wanting more food. Right now, she is, like, passed out, but she'll wake up in a few minutes. She's so tiny, you guys. She doesn't even fit into newborn size clothes. That's how tiny she is. 
As some of you may know, we do have a king size bed and she looks like tiny, tiny, tiny in this big ass bed. There she is, she's waking up. I told you guys, she always wakes up. Maybe not. While she is kind of napping, I'm gonna go boil the bottles really quick and put her in her bassinet, so. Um, I'm sorry, in her playpen so she can be away from Aaliyah because I don't want Aaliyah to like hold her yet by herself or um, for me to go upstairs and then I find Aaliyah with the baby on her hands. I know it's really bad lighting, but I want you to see how slowly I walk up the stairs. And her form, her bottle's already upstairs because Ricky put them up there before he left. But I'm not supposed to be walking up the stairs by myself. But I'm that type of person that feels I can do anything. Um, so, yeah. I actually made it down the stairs on time. I started to hear her cry. As she woke up, she's hungry. Big sister was hungry too, so I got her something to eat right before I came downstairs. So I got her some spaghetti and she's just watching TV. I feel so far so good. She's really excited to see her sister open her eye. Yeah, you wanna touch her? Be gentle like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. No? Yeah, go on. Like this. Yeah, nice. Hi. Yeah, and say hi. 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 <laughs> Look at her eyes. <laughs> her eyes are wide open, right? Yeah, they're open. <laughs> Say hi, I'm Haley. <laughs> no, you gotta be gentle. 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 Give me your hand. Huh? Like this. Like this. Like this. <laughs> there you go. You see? Yeah. Aaliyah, you wanna carry your sister? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So pretty. She's sleeping? Yes. Yeah. I honestly think that was the cutest thing ever. I didn't think she would react like that, but I am happy that she reacted the way she did because she's actually been trying to help me around and I've asked her to grab stuff for me and I've asked her to bring me wipes and she's done it. She is like so good. I didn't think she was gonna be like this but yeah I put baby girl to sleep and then um, Aliyah's just watching Spongebob as you can see she's right there um, she's just watching Spongebob and we're just gonna relax and see how things go from there yes yes yeah can I have it please be careful with the baby other way walk the other way Thank you, you're a big girl. Thank you, baby. It is 8 p.m. and I'm just waiting on Ricky to get home and we'll probably just have some dinner and then get to bed. Um, Suheili's still sleeping. Aliyah's over there playing with her toys. I'm gonna get her to bed pretty soon and we're gonna call it the night. 
Um, for all of you that were wondering how was I moving with no problem, I actually have a belly band on and it's uh, the ones that they give you in the hospital, it's these, but it just makes you feel like everything is in place. So for all the ladies that have had C-sections before, you guys probably know what this is. They give it to you in the hospital, but yeah, it just helps you feel like everything's put back together and like your guts are not going to fall out and more support you can walk and move around better so i definitely like this on especially if i'm gonna be doing stuff around the house what i don't like that i have to be limited to what i do like i can't do a lot of things that i want to do there is so many things i have to do around the house but a lot of them i can't do because it requires me to keep on bending down and keep on moving ways that I'm not supposed to be moving and that really sucks pretty much I can't carry anything more than my baby surprisingly Aaliyah hasn't asked me to carry her I told her and I showed her my incision letting her know that you know I have an owie I can't carry her right now I can only carry baby but she seems to understand perfectly fine which I am so happy with I did not think she was going to react like that, but like I said before, I am so thankful she reacted the way that she did. I just wanted to show you guys my first day with the girls by myself, and it's not really day. I had half day with them because uh, Ricky went to work at 4.30 and it's now 8. I thought it'd be nice to show you guys what it's like. So... If you guys have any questions or any requests for more videos, you guys know what to do. Just comment down below. Hit that notification button so you guys get notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.